Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Gloria. I'm your inspired interior design artist. And today I'm gonna to be showing you something really special that I was so honored to have my hand in. This is a horse trailer conversion for a very special client. She is a world champion barrel racer. She's also an incredible entrepreneur with her own clothing line of really unique, cute ranch wear. Many of you know her and many of you maybe don't. Her name is Fallon Taylor and she trusted me with her horse trailer to turn it into a living space for her to be able to use on the road, to be able to heat up and prep her food, hang out and chill when she's at events, get ready and also have the most vibey space out there. I hope that it inspires you and I hope that it gives you some really great ideas on how you can use such a tiny space for many uses. She's gonna be able to carry four horses in the back and use the front area. Something really cool about this build is that she just had a baby and we wanted to make sure that she had a space to be able to change her baby and we made a custom baby changing station for her. It's also completely solar powered. So she's gonna be the coolest one out there in the heat with her 12 volt AC unit. You are going to love this one. Check it out. Hey everybody and welcome to this amazing horse trailer conversion. This is for our client Fallon Taylor and I'm so excited to show this to you. She gave me full reign on the interior design in this space and I'm very excited about it. So if you come on in, you can check out the space, it's amazing. So one of the things that she really wanted to be able to do in here was have her food on the go. So down here we have the fridge. It pulls out and it's her 12 volt fridge. She can store all of her food in and then she can heat up her stuff on the road or when she's at events and then a little bit of extra storage space and plenty of countertop to be able to prep stuff. She can even do her makeup and get ready in here. So um, the space is really great. Right in back in this corner, we have all of the electrical. So we have 300 watts of solar on the roof and that's powering everything. We also have 300 amp hours of deep cycle batteries with the MI on and we also have a 3000 watt inverter. So all of that is powering everything in here, including the 12 volt AC unit, which is gonna keep her cool when she's in the heat. We fully insulated this entire space and put paneling trim, everything up, so it feels more like a living space and less like a horse trailer. So here in the lounge area, we were able to put in this beautiful accent wall to just add some more flair to the space. It's really small, so we wanted to add some character wherever we could. Um, below here she's got plenty of storage for shoes, clothing, whatever she wants to shove down here. And then right over here on this wall we have all of the water that she's going to be using to um, to feed, feed the horses I guess. <laughs> Each of these is five gallons so she can fill these up and feed her horses when she needs to. We also have the water tank that is feeding the AC unit and then we also have some um, hat hooks. These actually were in here before and we just moved them over to this wall. And we also have some hooks that she can hang her keys or purse and a little storage on the top for any other little knickknacks she wants to put in here. So Fallon just had a baby and one of her requests was for us to have a baby changing station. So we custom made this. So she's got her own baby changing station right inside. There's also plenty of space between this and the kitchen. So if someone still wants to be using any of the kitchen space, they can do that, get into the fridge while she's taking care of baby business. Another cool feature in the kitchen, we wanted to have some electrical somewhere she could plug into. So we added this little USB strip and it's on a, um, well, it's able to extend like this, obviously and it has Velcro which attaches to this. So she can put this anywhere in the space if she wants it hidden away back here, if she wants to have it in this little cubby, or if she wants to take it up into the bed area. She's got power for all the different spaces. So this is our little footstep to get up into the bed. And then up here, uh, me being a short person, I can actually kind of fit up <laughs> here, but um, she wanted an area where she could take a nap, take a break, um, and this actually fits a queen size bed, you guys. I know you don't believe it, but 
This is a queen size bed. It's a six inch mattress with a memory foam topper, so it's very comfortable. And we also added some privacy blinds, so if she wants to take a nap and have complete privacy, she can close those up and have the space completely to herself, take care of the baby, take a nap, relax, do whatever she wants to do in here. So these are cool. Um, these you just literally pull up and down and you've got your window feature. So that's really awesome. We installed this lighting all the way down so she's got extra lighting for the space. And um, the cool thing is the 12 volt AC unit also has a little night light on it. So, you know, getting up and down into bed for switching the lights on and off might be annoying. So she can take the remote right here from the AC unit into her bed and have a light to go on and off while she's up here. So she doesn't have to get up and down to turn off all these lights. So while I'm up here, I'll just quickly talk about this. There's a shelf here, as you all can tell. You can use it for storage, anything you wanna do. And um, yeah, that's all I gotta say about this little shelf right here. It's great. So right up here, we added this picture frame so she can add a personal touch. I was imagining it being right here next to the baby table so that she can just reminisce on the amazing things she has to be grateful on in her life and put a little photo of her family up here. And all of these, the decor, the picture frame, the mirror, and the other decor on the wall, we put on with those command strips. They're kind of like Velcro, but they're a lot stronger. And these are great for tiny spaces because you can put them up, know they're gonna stay. But if you ever wanna move anything or take it around, you just pull the strip down and you can move things no problem. Well, it's a good thing that I got ready today because I had an outro video for this, but uh, apparently that's not here anymore. So. Thank you so much for watching this video and coming on this tour with me. I hope that you enjoyed it and have some inspiration about how you can transform your mini horse trailer living area into a beautiful space. And if you are looking for a space like this or something unique or an entire development, I'm your girl, I'd love to chat with you. And especially if you are a female entrepreneur, I got you. I wanna support all of y'all ladies out there. I had so much fun with this build and I'm so glad that you guys got to experience it with me. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.